Okay, let's talk about learning how to make a stencil using Procreate on your iPad. So let's, let's say you start by going to look at different images on Google and you find one that you like and you say, I like, I like this new school gorilla right here. So what you do is you, uh, you copy it. So you're going to, you're going to hit command shift three. Command shift three and that copies it. And then you're going to go to procreate. All right. And you're going to hit photo. And then you hit the gorilla that you just chose. Now you have your gorilla and procreate. So how do we make a stencil out of this? Well, you're going to have to have a procreate pencil. And uh, what you do is over here, you're going to go to your, your, these are your layers. Open that up. You're going to hit plus. Then you're going to come back to your original layer. You're going to hit N and you're going to reduce the opacity to about half. And then you come back to your new layer that you made and you use something like a technical pen. That's what I use, technical pen. And I set it at about 10. For smaller lines, you can do six or seven and you start drawing this thing out right you're gonna go ahead and stencil you know create the whole stencil lining this thing out blah 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 right okay say say you did that and i've already got one completed here so say i went through and i i traced over everything and now I want to get rid of the original because I want my tracing only. So we're going to go to our layers and we're going to hit this box here to make it disappear. And now we have our stencil that we're going to use for our tattoo, right? Looks good. It's, it only looks as good as you make it. So whenever you're tracing, take your time. So how do we get this out? Well, here's how I do it. I go to uh, this wrench here and I hit JPEG. And that means you're gonna export it to JPEG. So I scroll over here to my Gmail. I send it to myself, there's my name. Boom, done. Now, now you check your email through your laptop, right? This is what I do, I check my email through my laptop, I got Look, I got it. There's my email. So let's make this bigger. So I want to go ahead and click, double click on it. And I want to download a copy. And I want to open that copy. See the copy? Now I'm going to copy that. I'm going to highlight the whole thing. Command C. And I'm going to go to a word processor. This is open office. You can use word if you have it and you open up a new document and you control V to paste it onto the, the page. Now you have your stencil and it's covering the whole page and you know how big it is because you know how big a page is. So you're going to have to take this corner without distorting the image and shrink it to something that a size that you want and so maybe if that's the size you want you go ahead and print it once you print it from this open office document then I print it out from here and then I have it here so what's next well what's next is we have to take this and get stencil paper ready for it so what you do is You take some regular stencil paper and it's going to have a bunch of pages in it. <laughs> There's going to be a loose one. You want to take the loose page out. You don't 
need it. And then you can take this back page and tear it off. It's usually yellow. You don't need it. Right. Now you have your stencil paper ready to go. So here's the stencil machine right here. And this is how you load it. Open it like this. Take the part that's got all the pages on it, glued together, and feed it through just like this so that the black carbon copy or the dark blue is on the bottom and the light colored paper is on top. You're gonna to pull it through about halfway because you wanna have enough room to stencil, right? But you want it to be at the bottom of your page so you can use your page again for the next stencil. Lock it in. Go ahead and load your stencil in like uh, so, face down, and hit copy. And look what you get. You get a stencil out of it. And so there's your stencil. And we're going to go ahead and cut it out. Now I'll show you a trick on this paper so you can use it again. See, we have all that and it's really hard to cut. So if you just cut a little bit of it, you can tear the rest. Ta-da, just like that. So now you can use reuse this page if it's a small stencil and I've reused them plenty of times. And there we have our stencil. Now to apply the stencil. So we're gonna take the speed stick and we're gonna apply it to the skin and we're gonna apply it liberally because you need a good amount for it to stick. Right? Let's get the stencil on here. Much better. Once you get your stencil on, you're gonna to have to make sure it stays. The best way to do that is to get a dryer, put it on high, put the heat on high, and make this thing go and uh, dry it. You're gonna basically cook it. It should be hot to the touch. And baked in and after you blow dry that for about five full minutes on high heat, you'll have a good stencil and it won't go anywhere. So now you can start tattooing on it, all right? So that's how you do the stencil. So uh, if you like this content, please click like and subscribe.